So a few days ago, I made a video that I wasn't expecting it to be controversial, but in the comments, there were a lot of players arguing with me and with each other, and it had to do with when to step on a volley when moving forward. This is a pretty clear cut case of what to do and what not to do. And I wanna go through it again right now. Hello, it's Ryan from 2MinuteTennis.net, and in this video, we're gonna cover the proper step timing on a volley. Now this video is courtesy of Essential Tennis. Thank you so much, Ian, for allowing me to use this video. Make sure you subscribe to Essential Tennis. I put their link in the description below. All right, <laughs> I didn't know this was gonna be so controversial, but we got Mikhail Yuzny here at the, uh, I believe this is at Cincinnati uh, practicing. And so here he comes in, by the way, let's talk about like the split step timing on a serve and volley. So when you serve and volley and you're going forward, the split step is gonna be in the middle of no man's land. So here's his split step. And so his split step is basically halfway between the baseline and the service line. And why? Because that's where you'll be when your opponent hits. And that's when you're going to split step. And the first volley is hit from usually behind the service line or, or maybe on the service line. Now, here is what we're talking about. And the video is a little grainy just because the, the camera's moving, but it's no problem. We can easily see this. He's hitting a forehand volley here. And what we're talking about is when should his front foot hit the ground? So you can see he's stepping with his left foot as he should be. He's hitting a volley on his right side. So when you hit a forehand volley and you're right-handed, you got to think, oh, no, you got to step with your left foot. Well, when should his foot hit the ground? Well, he's moving forward. And, oops, sorry. And when you're moving forward, it is really important that you hit the ball and then your front foot hits the ground. So as I explained in that previous video, just from a few days ago, I said that the last foot that hits the ground, which right now is his right foot, the last foot that hits the ground should be the foot that's on the side where you're hitting. So he is hitting on his right side. He's hitting a right-handed forehand volley. So the last foot that hits the ground is his right foot. Then he hits the volley then his left foot hits the ground. So if you're hitting a forehand volley, if you're hitting on the right side, it's right, hit, left. Watch it again. Right, hit, left. So then he keeps going forward, and now he gets a backhand volley. Remember, he's moving forward. This We're not talking about when you're stationary and you can do whatever you want. We're talking about when your momentum is carrying you forward. And when your momentum is carrying you forward, it is really important that you use the proper timing. So here's a backhand volley. So since he's hitting on his left side, he's going to step with his right foot, but he needs to hit the ball and then his right foot hits the ground. So watch, hits the ball, then his right foot hits the ground. Let's zoom in here. You tell me when his right foot hits the ground. Ready? Right there, his foot is, is um, finally hitting the ground and then there's his right foot stomping. So there's his right foot uh, heel hitting the ground and now... There's his right foot, you know, flat against the ground. So let's go to this frame right here. There's his heel. Now, what should happen? We should have already seen that he hit the ball. And there it is. He already hit the ball. That's the ball right there going away from him. And watch. I'll go one more frame. There's the ball away. So he hit the ball. Then his foot hit the ground. This is not controversial. When you're going forward and your momentum is carrying you, it is important that you do not plant this front foot and then contact the ball. Your body will come to a stop and you'll basically fall over and trip. And you see this all the time. People put the front foot down prior to hitting and the physics just doesn't compute. Like it just doesn't work. And then they actually kind of fall over. So that's the proper way to move through a volley. You want to step with the same foot that's on that side where you're hitting, then hit the volley and then step. And the same thing on this side, the last step that lands on the left side should be your left foot. Then you hit the ball, then your right foot. He's stepping with his right foot as he's hitting on the left side. It's just, he's making sure that he contacts first, then he lands. So I hung a ball here in my basement to be able to show you the contact point. And I just want to say this isn't controversial. Now, what I'm saying does not apply when you're warming up before a match and you're just standing there hitting volleys. I comb through a lot of videos every day for, this, for being able to make YouTube videos all day. And you'll see countless videos of the pros while standing still, step and then volley. Step 
and then volley. They're in a practice setting, they're warming up for a match, and they're just standing there hitting volleys. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about when you're moving forward, when you're attacking, when you have momentum going forward. It's vital that you use this footwork timing. So I'll demonstrate with my back to the camera. I'm gonna be hitting on my right side. If I'm hitting on my right side, I think we can all agree that it's best that I step with my left foot. I think you would agree with that. If I'm hitting on my right side, I'm gonna be stepping with my left foot, but that's not enough information. What should happen first? Should I step and then hit, or should I hit and then step? Hitting and then stepping is in your best interest. When I hit correctly, the last step that will land prior to hitting will be on the side where I'm making contact. So I'm hitting on my right side, it'll be right, hit, left. The last step prior to contact will be on the side where I'm hitting, right, hit, left. If I put my foot down and I'm moving, that's a problem. If I'm standing still, no problem. But if I have momentum moving forward into this volley, this presents a problem. Because as soon as I put my left foot down, my right foot is gonna have to come forward. But my right arm is going forward. And we know from physics that our arms and legs need to move opposite one another. You're not gonna be able to get two arms on the same side to go forward quickly, right? You, you can't run like this. So when you go forward, if you plant, as your right arm goes forward, your right leg is gonna go back. And it's no different than bowling, ice hockey, the foot kicks back, right? So we know this. So when my foot plants, when I hit the ball, my back foot kicks back for a second and I fall off balance. And you see people make this mistake all the time. You see them go forward, they split step, they're running and they plant the front foot and they fall over. Just like in a car, when you slam on the brakes, the front end goes down, right? It goes forward and down. If you step first, you will slam on the brakes and you'll fall over and the shot suffers. And it's the exact same thing on the backhand side. If I'm hitting on my left side, the last step I take prior to hitting should be my left foot. So it's left foot, then I hit the ball, then the right foot. Watch this again. So it's left, hit, right. We know that when hitting on our left side, it's best to step with our right foot. Well, it isn't right foot, then hit. It's hit, right foot. The proper timing is what gives you the momentum power source and allows you to seamlessly move through the volley. Film yourself. You can do this with a string in your garage or hang it off a basketball hoop or in your basement here. Just get some twine and a little tennis ball and start practicing it. Film yourself going to the net. Film yourself playing a match. Look to see when you're going forward if you're hitting and then stepping, which is correct, or stepping and then hitting, and you'll see that you oftentimes fall off balance and your shot suffers because of it. You use the proper footwork when moving through a volley, and there is no doubt, you're gonna gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.